Alright folks, here is my Matchbox uh, haul and, un and unboxing video for October October 7th, 2013. Let's start with something that's not really related to Matchbox, but not really Matchbox. I just picked up one, the latest wave of Siku cars. These are German-made die-cast cars. Um, big sucker for police cars. This is the Dodge Charger. Um, it's U.S. It just says U.S. Patrol car. It should have said Dodge Charger, um, but it, they did get the royalties for Dodge. And here it is, very nice. Um, doors open. It's got a light bar. Uh, tr trunk doesn't open. It's got a lot of details uh, everywhere at the at the rear, front. Got Dodge. Uh, emblem on the hood. It's got rubber tires, metal body, metal base. So, pretty cool. I like this car. Alright, that's that. Now let's go, go into the haul proper for Matchbox. Pick up this one. I'm not really, I don't pick up all the five packs, but uh, this one was interesting because of the trailer and because I still didn't have these two trucks. Uh, these two, well, they were okay. I had this one already. This one I didn't bother picking up in the singles because I already had several of these. I had a couple of these in the other colors. So very nice. It's the outdoor five pack for 2013, and it's got that uh, 60 years matchbox. Put it there. Picked up another two, three, uh, five pack. It's called. It's the battle five pack. This is the second version. Um, it still has the Hummer and this thing, the SWAT truck, but it's got three different uh, new new cars. There's, the Jeep wasn't here. Uh, it's got this one. I forgot what this is. This is this was new for 2012. ATV or something, I forgot. And then this one, it's recycled, uh, Safari. I can't even I forgot what this one was. The Jeep, yeah, that's the Jeep. But if you remember, the original Battle Pack had this one and um, two more cars I forgot. This one I thought was a lot better. Um, I like this truck a lot. I'm a big fan of this mode, so I decided to pick it up as well. That's that. Uh, on to the uh, basic cars. Blast from the past, I did pick up an Audi R8. Gotta pick up sideways. Big fan of that Decepticon. Um, let's see. Open the, the box. It's a, it's a 2008 box, not really worth keeping, but this car is amazing. I mean, just the detail on it, very nice. I love it. It was featured on Revenge of the Fallen uh, way back in 2009. Very, very nice. It was a Decepticon. So, got to pick that one up. All right, um, next one. Probably give this to Alex. She likes helicopters. The rescue helicopter. This was from, I think, all the way from the J case. Uh, didn't bother picking up at first because there was very little die cast in it. But uh, uh, I went through a, a weekend mall sale. Decided to pick it up. And now um, I got a bunch of cars from the L case. Um, some of which first time I picked up the first first time pick up the the mold the casting and they were done in just wonderful colors so I decided to pick them up anyway. So start with the Pip King. Did never really like the previous iterations of this particular uh, mold this particular vehicle, but this one looked really nice. Uh, blue, I know, but I like it. Put that one there. Put it here. Another recast, remodel, uh, repaint, the uh, Scraper. Don't know if it's a Zamac or silver painted. Kind of looks silver painted. Uh, but you let me know. It's really nice. I like, this is probably the best version of this mold. I really like it. Yellow one's not too bad, but I like that. This one, I'm not a big fan of gold paints, but this one looked really nice. The Dodge Ram SRT10. Heck of a lot better than the blue and the green versions we've gotten in the past a couple of years ago. This one's really nice. I, they still don't paint the front part. I mean, I don't understand that. Uh, 
And this gold isn't as bad. It, it's not as uh, mustardy or manure looking. So I decided to pick it up. I just need one. I'm a big fan of this mold, the water hauler. Uh, and I thought this would look cute. Uh, it's for kids, I know, but I decided to pick it up as well. Picked up a couple of these, the Terrain Trouncer, because this is also an unboxing video. I need to show you one out of packaging. Um, matchbox opening at the bottom. Very nice. Internet. Oh, let's see. Don't know if it's a Zamac. Um, looks like a Zamac, but no, no. It actually looks painted silver. I don't know, I could be wrong. That one looks painted. This, I don't know. But I like it. I like the silver motif on it. I loved it in purple, loved it in green. Very nice in silver. Terrain Trouncer. Second one I had of this one, the F-150 SVT Raptor. Very nice. Uh, I'm really digging this one in black. I mean, the previous colors were just okay. This one in black, very, very nice. And it's got a, a hitch. Yeah, love this car. All right. Picked up two of these. I don't know. I like these things. I know they're not even cars, but... I thought they were pretty cool. This is new for 2013. Um, yep. It says, I think, 2012. 2013. Don't know if you can see it. Let's see if we can focus. Uh, it's right there. 2013. So new for 2013. I like these non-car matchbox vehicles. I don't know, for some reason, uh, they, they always lure me in. Very nice. Uh, Amphi Flyer. It's uh, obviously a hovercraft. It rolls. Got these small wheels. Pretty cool. Picked up several of these. I thought these were really cute. Ah, it's, they're not even cars. They're, uh, this is the Deep Diver. It's also new for 2013. Mm, yep, I don't know if you can see it. There you go, 2013 Mattel. Very nice with the robot. I wish the arms moved, but they didn't. Look at that, look how cute this thing is. It doesn't spin, sorry. It's a submarine, yellow submarine. <laughs> yeah, very nice, I love this. Next up, uh, some repaints, we got this one. The uh, Ford Shelby GT500 convertible done in blue. You got the uh, side mirror right there. Pretty cool. Uh, okay. Got two of these. Dodge Viper GTSR concept. Interesting. Uh, I think they released this several times in the past, but not in yellow. Look at that. Look how nice it is. Pretty cool. Paint apps are pretty good as well. Better than Hot Wheels. Very nice. Right. Okay. Oops. Picked up a couple of the uh, Opel Speedster. I think they've released this in the past. Um, let me see. 2002. Check it out. Very nice. Done in purple. I loved it. I love the uh, presentation on this one. Look how nice that one looks. Yeah, it's a little bit small, but here's the Audi R8. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, halfway done. Mitsubishi Eclipse. I like this car. Not my favorite color. But it'll have to do. Okay, okay. Not too bad. They didn't put the three diamond logo right there. That's too bad, but pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, wow, very nice. Okay, something new for 2000 and I think this is new. Got the uh, 1966 Dodge A100 pickup. Pretty cool. This one, this one's already been busted, so we we just take it out there. Ah. 
this just opened. I didn't actually see it. Uh, I just picked it up at the store and went home. So it was busted. So gotta open this one up. It looks cute. Uh, very retro. Yeah, obviously, 1966. Uh, but it is 2012. New. New for 2000 and 2013. Look at the. I don't know if you can see the stamp on it. Right there. Pretty cool. The color is so 1960s. I mean, very nice. It rolls very well. Pretty cool. Mr. Lugo. The uh, food truck. Uh, I had to pick up another one. I already showed you guys uh, this one before. I picked it up at a hobby shop. But this one I thought it was really cool. Look at that. Look at that deco. Look how funny that is. Funny and cute. Come on, focus. There you go. Very nice. It's it's a plastic. Oh, didn't know he had an even better looking logo at this on the other side. Mr. Lugos. Look at that. Plastic body, metal base. Yeah, what can you do? Um, doesn't open anywhere. Yeah. No year. So we're not going to know. I thought this was new for 2013, but okay. Now this one, a lot of collectors were after this one. I picked up several. I know, I know, I should only pick a couple, but I thought it was pretty cool. I thought Alex would like this one. So I decided to pick another one for her and two for me, and this one to open up. This is the Ice Cream Cruiser. Ah, that's pretty cool. I already had one in the uh, in this color back in the uh, couple, a year ago, I think. I bought one, but this one done in purple was really nice. Look at that. Uh, no year, but it's really nice in purple. Look at that. Look how. Let me see. Let me see if I can focus on that. Come on. Come on. There you go. Look how nice and shiny and metallic that purple, is, especially on the hood. Look at that. Focus. Ice Cream Van Deluxe. I'm so loving this this car, this truck. I'm gonna put him here. All right, last two cars. Here you go. Again, police cars. Dodge Charger Pursuit. Really nice. Uh, the white one, just the white metallic white, just really pops on this particular car. Um, yeah, as you can see, very, very similar. Let's see if we can focus on that. And the light bar. Look at that. Rims. Very, very nice. This one has some scratching on, on the P, but it's fine. Look at that. Very nice. I love police cars. Last, uh, every, you gotta get this. This one, I think, is one of the cars that a lot of collectors are also after. This is the 1963 Cadillac Ambulance. Um, the original colors were, you know, were okay. I like this mode because it reminds me of Ecto-1. Uh, and the orange, the ta metallic tangerine they've done on this thing, on this mode, is just phenomenal. I think this one's the best one in the lot. Uh, the police is good. These are the top three for the LKs for me. These three, and then these two right here. Uh, these these two are also good. The uh, the pickup, the Chrysler pickup, and the uh, the food truck. They're pretty cool as well. Uh, but these three are just I think the best ones in the wave. So if you're out there looking for the LKs, you know the almost every car there was. I bought every single one. I just didn't buy some of the repaints, but they are very, very nice uh, repaints, redecos, and new molds for this particular case. And I highly recommend you go check them out. So even if you're a big Hot Wheels fan, the Matchbox cars, they're, they're really killing it with these. So there you go, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video of my unboxing and uh, haul for Matchbox cars and whatnot um, for October 7th, 2013. Thanks for watching.